Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwash and we are back with oh, <laughs> so sorry about that guys. A full review of this um quite a difficult watch to love to be completely honest with you. This is the Pagani Design PD1692. A one look at it, you guys will know that this is a is an homage of a certain R brand the AK model right so this is the uh, an homage to their late the latest edition of that particular model I'm not going to be telling you guys what model it is because yeah I, I I really concerned about this you know trademarking issues that we have lately right so um a quick dimension check for this particular piece this is uh, featuring the um, dimension diameter of 39.6 from here to here in diameter and a thickness of just 11.2 mm 11.6 mm right so and a lot to lot of quite a long lot to lot of 14 9.2 but I don't really mind it because it is a you know almost a 40 millimeters in diameter watch and a lug width of 20 millimeters right so sized up for my uh, 6.75 or 17 centimeters wrist in circumference wrist this way this thing weigh at about 133 grams I think I do have a few other links at two I think two or three links that is still available so it will be uh, it will, it will be a, you will be able to use this if you have a about maybe about 7.5 or 8 inches wrist right so uh price points of this particular piece so i think it is co it is costing about 111 or 120 us dollars at this point of time but of course during the sales the aliexpress upcoming Ali aliexpress sales that will be starting from 1st of november until 12th november so please do bear in mind that during the first three days first uh, second and third of november you will be getting a discount code of 35 dollars for every 30 us dollars right so and um, that will be kept up to 15 us dollars so we have i think that's <laughs> quite a bargain in, in my opinion so uh, you will definitely uh, be able to get this particular watch at under 100 US dollars right so powering this movement is the Seiko NH35 movements you guys know what that is already so a workhorse movement so very 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 reliable but yeah still because this is a you know a Pagani design watch there will also always be you know some cost cutting measures here and there right so let's talk a bit more about this particular case so we have this uh, explorer style case uh, here or mm -hmm. can I say that word <laughs> I'm not really sure guys but yeah still this is your typical uh, our uh, our explorer style dial dial here uh, sorry case here so we, where we have this polish finishing on the bezel and a still a polish finishing on the side of the bezel i think right so and a polish finishing on the side of the case as well right so this is a high polish finishing so that is why you're gonna see tons of um different uh, fingerprint magnet here so i this is anyway this watch is uh, on loan to me by, by my buddy reverend marvin thank you very much Shreif, for lending me this particular watch right so yeah polish finishing on this this side as well with that signed Pagani design logo there and a brush finishing on the top right so you can see that the brush finishing is not really that okay it's not really that you know uh sharp so it, it is okay not that bad right so for the money yeah you can't really complain All right so um before we talk about the dial right so we have this fully brush finishing bra bracelet here so with a male end link so that will ah, i totally forgot to measure that one right so when if we include the luck so the if the male end link the luck to luck will be at about i think about 53 i think yep about that will be about 51.6 millimeters effective luck to luck and the diameter of the crown is about 6.4 millimeters so yep is definitely an easy uh, crown to use right so um yep this bracelet is you know it is okay not that bad so you can see that quite there's quite a lot of flex inside the inside the bracelet so yeah it is typical of you know this uh, style of this price breaker in my opinion so not anything to shout about but still it's not really that bad right so yeah there's a bit of jingle there but yeah i don't really mind it the class is featuring this um flip lock style class with sorry <laughs> this r style class with this flip lock right so we have a sign bug pagani design finishing here so this bit uh this flip locks class is okay not that bad but yeah this, of course there is some yeah, there's some some rough edges there but nothing that will cut your hand but here though this here is quite sharp so but of course when you wear it you're not gonna feel that on your wrist but if you run through your fingers like so yeah you're gonna feel the sharpness of these edges right so 
here also we have that chart finishing so taking off the class we will have this um mill uh, swing arm which is okay not that bad and we have a polish finishing on finishing on the side right so this again this similar pattern a uh, similar sharp uh similar finishing on this uh, side of the bracelet as well right so but sizing the watch right so i it's uh, you know what i don't really like this style of what do you call this easy link extension because it's quite rough to be completely honest with you so you see that if i want to use this easy link i have to flick that one open oh my god let me just try again yep like that so i have like what uh maybe about five millimeters of extension if i and if i size it to uh, a bit tight but yeah i can use this when uh, what do you call it sweaty dex a day session when it's quite and it's quite hot so you can just flip it off and yeah have a little bit of room uh on the bracelet but yeah this is also where you only the only way that you can we will be able to uh use this micro adjust so what you need to do is you need to use your super duper tiny <laughs> tip and um uh, spring bar tool to get in there because there's no there's no hole here guys so you have to use only these bits right so getting adjusting this bracelet is very very annoying so you have to poke uh, the spring bar tool here and somehow release this uh this this uh this portion here so it is it was very very annoying yeah i had one so yeah i'm not gonna be talking much much more about that so yeah and then putting it back on is also quite rough so yeah yeah you can't really complain right so 400 US dollars right so at the back we have the um close case back here water resistant 200 meters so i have no idea how to prove that but yeah let's just you know trust him with that and we have this uh, compass pd logo pd Pagani design logo with that um engraving of a mountain i have no idea what mountain are those what mountain are those but yeah <laughs> don't really ask me about that right so um crown action is okay not that bad so but yeah still i think for a and almost 40 millimeters in diameter watch so maybe they could have you know making it a little bit bigger but yeah still not no issue there so because this is this is using it an h35 movement it is going to have that ghost position yep and the date wheel is still there and when you put it to the out the more outer position you will feel you will, you will hack the movement right so okay so there's no wiggle whatsoever so that is good way right? because there is in nh35 and yeah this play also is not available so very very good for the money right so let's talk a bit more about the dial right so the dial is finishing this um what do you call this glossy or piano black dial so right, you can see there are quite a lot of um what it called flash <laughs> not flash shiny surface right so very very nicely done um uh gloss finish or black piano black finish and we have those applied indices on the three six nine and also uh, the triangle at the 12 o'clock and we also have that um applied pagani design logo right so which is quite an interesting choice right so yep and all the other markers 0 5 10 20 25 35 40 50 and 50 are all printed in white and in white loom and surprisingly they have loom right so very very nice right so and we have just your typical a simple a minute track printed on the outer side of the dial right so the hands the our hands is featuring this um mercedes style our hands so which is you know typical of this price range so you can't really complain about that and the um uh what else the hour hand sorry the many hands is featuring this pencil style mini hand so which is you know your typical uh hands that they use on this particular design so the second sorry the uh, second hands is unique right so we have this green second hands with this lollipop in the middle and automatic 20 bar is also printed in green which is very very cool right so um yeah let's before we do that uh quick little uh loom check let's do a quick close-up or macro video okay guys so this is how the watch looks um quite near <laughs> closest closer to the lens so you can see that at the six o'clock the finishing on this, this six o'clock is not really that uh, good but yes yeah, so still you can't really see that with your, your bare eyes there so not that bad in my opinion i think those are maybe glue residue I'm, i might be wrong there but yeah, it is not really finished that well in my opinion but yeah still for a hundred bucks uh you can't really complain right so the hands is you know finishing is very very nice as well you can see there's a little bit of scratches here on the um on the uh minute hands there which is you know, not really visible by naked eye 
and other than that yeah the printing is also okay not that bad you know you can't really complain right so 100 bucks come on guys right so um the case finishing is this fit this polish finishing there's no pitting mark whatsoever on the on the bezel there's no pitting mark on the oh my god so sorry about that guys on the uh, side of the case as well and we have that uh beautifully done stamp uh crown there so the knurling on the crown is also uh, polish uh, finish in uh, polish finishing so that makes it sometimes a little bit difficult to grip and this side is also finished yep <laughs> there are tons of scratches on this side i think it's mr marvin said to me that he really really liked this particular watch and yeah that is why there are tons of scratches there okay yep there you have it and at the back of the case we see this um uh you know this mountain logo here all right so yeah that is your typical <laughs> that is what will happen when you used your watch this much right so that was the micro shot and let's go to the normal shot all right so before we put the right the watch on the on marius let's do a quick wristwatch check today i'm wearing my um this dive ad 2113 and an homage of a certain t brand so you guys know what am i talking about so it's just that the t brand never really produced a 39 millimeters version of this particular watch right so we when you see here um you see that there's quite a difference between this uh, you know although this is 39 this is 39.6 i somehow prefer this one because the luck to look of this particular uh, this dive is a bit shorter compared to this one right so and the bracelet is also a bit uh, better compared to the to this pd uh, one six two nine so you do chime in in the comment section below if you want to see you want to see me compare these two right so yeah anyway let's just do a quick loom check uh let's just let's just grab my uv torch here where the heck is it let's just give the adidas adidas type a bit of blast and we have to do this pagani design more because the loom application on this particular thing is not that great so are you guys ready three two one and you will see that both of the um on the um uh adidas dive it is featuring a actually it is using a bgw9 super luminova but on the uh, pagani design right so it is also using um i don't know guys so it looks a bit different here so from on the lens uh, from the behind the camera it looks like the uh, our indices uh, oh sorry the our indices looks still bright uh, growing glowing brightly but in reality it is already faded so you can see that the three six in line um yeah, as of course if being applied much much more generously but on the hands they are using it looks like they are using a c3 super luminova right so yep it, it is okay but not as strong as other offerings from uh, another brand right so let's just put it on wrist and see how it looks like on my 6.75 inch wrist so there you have it yeah i still think that um you know this style of case uh, the, the size must be under 39 millimeters that is for me right so that's my taste now so uh, but if you guys can you know can use you can go for the 40 or 41 millimeters um in diameter for this style of case yeah that is totally your <laughs> your um your there is totally your your option or your taste right but yeah still you can see that it is a bit thick and yeah, so it's it's okay not that bad but still the male ending does um, make it look a bit bigger in my opinion right so that is how it looks on my skinny 6.75 inch wrist and yeah in conclusion should you get this one during the upcoming aliexpress 11 11 sales right so it totally depends on you guys so if you guys like this style of the of the r brand uh, ak model yeah i think you should go for it because i don't think there is any other brand that is producing this the, uh, an homage of this particular watch as of now right so that is that will be like what uh, now is uh, october 2022 but maybe there will be another brand producing this kind of homage watch but yeah in the future but now i think yeah this is your best bet but i do wish that they do make it in a much smaller case because that is my preference right so and of course with it with it comes with you know with this with pagani design you can't really expect that you know that uh, that good uh, loom application so that is you know their typical problem with not only this particular watch uh, model but other, another uh, model as well but yeah still if you can 
uh, see past that and yeah this is one great option if only you like this design for me i'm gonna pass right <laughs> so if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye